It's cool times. Gang, gang to my cats. Sup, Tom, my ducks. It's your boy, the American Sniper, a.k.a. the Bradley Cooper of NFTs. I'm with Brantley.eth to talk about ENS domains. What is up, Brantley? How are we doing today, man? Yeah, hey, good. So what is the 101 on ENS? Um, this is a decentralized identity protocol. Why is it so important for somebody who's been collecting NFTs for the past couple months to make sure they get an ETH name? Yeah, because it's the uh, identity, decentralized identity protocol of the internet, the future of the internet. So the idea here basically is the primary use case, at least, is that, you know, in Web2, you would have a username for each service. You know, it's like siloed on that service, which is fine. But with uh, Web3, you actually own your username, you set the profile data, you control it entirely, and then you take that with you to each service. So your ENS name is your username and profile for web three and eventually the entire internet great and from what i've understood i can have as many wallets as possible and they'll all be tied to this one ens name is that correct uh no so i mean uh an ens name can only point to uh one wallet at a time although i'm sorry i guess it depends on what you mean by wallets ens supports all cryptocurrency addresses so it actually can point to all your different cryptocurrency addresses but only one per cryptocurrency so it can point to you know, an Ethereum address, a Dogecoin address, a Solana address, a Bitcoin address. You can do all that at once, but only one per blockchain. Okay. Well, we got right into it. Uh, just doing a little one-on-one on the top, but I want to talk a little bit about you. Um, how do you work with ENS? I'm a director of operations of the core team, and I've been on the project since January 2019. Uh, ENS launched in uh, May 2017. Uh, fun fact, ENS is, as far as I can tell, is the longest continuously running NFT project in the world. Uh, it's pre-punks by about five or six weeks. It's even uh, pre-curio um, cards by like five days. I haven't seen anyone mention that. And obviously the historical significance of, of projects has uh, uh, been a big topic, especially this year as we revisit some of those. Um, but you've been here the, the whole way with ENS. And um, a couple of weeks ago, you know, uh, people, uh, start hearing about this airdrop and, and getting really excited about it. How did that come to fruition? Yeah, so the core components of VNS are decentralized and self-running and don't need any governance or token or anything like that. Um, and that's a core value proposition of VNS. You know, like nobody can take your .eth name away from you, right? Uh, but there are a couple parameters that require some human discretion. So this would be things like, what should the pricing and registration mechanism be for .eth names? Like it'd be really hard for us to like just set that and know that it's going to work for the next hundred years or something, right? Um, so that requires human discretion. Also, like what do you do with the money that's raised from .eth name registrations? Who should spend it? Where should it go? Uh, you know, we ENS is an open public protocol. We think that the community should have a say in that. It's not just it's not our company. We we aren't a private company. We don't have investors. This is a new neutral protocol of the internet. Anyway, so basically. Um, We've always wanted something like a DAO, but when ENS launched 2017, DAOs weren't good enough, uh, but we think they are now. So we launched a DAO and the, the token uh, is a governance token for the DAO. So that obviously, from what I've seen, didn't come with a prior announcement. Um, what was the idea behind kind of just drop, literally airdropping this to people and are, are there more things we could expect in the future? Uh, well, no, there's not going to be more airdrops, uh, but because this, this is just like an initial distribution of the votes and then, and then people can trade and things like that if they want, but it's just yeah. initial distribution. Um, so we actually, we announced on November 1st and then the token actually launched on November 8th. So there was a week and that was because we wanted to give people an opportunity to nominate themselves as delegates. Uh, so if people could delegate their voting power to these people, if they, you know, if you don't want to be involved in the governance process. Um, uh, but we didn't talk about it prior to November 1st because we don't want people to game the the system for how we distributed the tokens. Yeah, I just want to applaud you for a, a fair um, uh, airdrop and a, just a fair approach to the way you guys are run things. Did you, did you have a .eth name and did you get some of the airdrop? No, no, I didn't. And um, you missed out, man. I, I missed out, and um, but I, I have one now. So good, I, wonderful. Exactly. So I think the raising awareness um, was almost another great value of, of this airdrop and just seeing everyone talk about it on, on Twitter. And now there's news, you know, it just, um, I believe got listed on Coinbase as well. Um, what does that exactly mean for you guys and how excited are you guys to be on Coinbase? 
Yeah, it's good. I mean, we didn't reach out to any exchanges or anything. We're not providing liquidity because just we're focused on ENS and the Dow and things like this. But, you know, if people want to list it, they're allowed to. Obviously, we can't stop them. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, that would seem positive for, uh, for the project. And then, um, yeah, I mean, that, that's great that here's the message I would want to tell people. This is not an ending. This is a beginning. This is a new era for ENS. Um, and this is potentially, I don't want to be too melodramatic about it, but a like historical event. And what I mean by that is that ENS um, is, has a real shot at being the decentralized identity protocol of the world. Yeah. Like literally everybody on the planet. It's not a guarantee, but there have been many attempts at decentralized identity protocols over the years, and none of them have ever taken off or gotten traction. ENS is the first and only one to do so. And that is very significant. Listen, like now we have a chance of actually making this work. Um, and you know, if you got this token, you have voting rights over the future identity protocol of the world. Now, if you missed it, it's okay. I mean, you could buy the tokens if you want from somebody, or you can also still just get involved. You know, you can get it, get it. ENS names, obviously still, you can get involved in our, you know, discussions and things like this, but this is, this is just a beginning of this new era. Um, something else I, I want to mention just on a, another topic is the namespace that ENS supports. So, so you've already mentioned we have .eth names that is native to ENS, that's what most people have. We actually also have full DNS namespace integration. What that means is that if you have a .com uh, domain name on DNS, you can actually import that into ENS and use that with the .com ending. So like I have bcmilligan.com on DNS, I've imported that, I now have bcmilligan.com, not .eth, but .com on ENS and you can like send me Dogecoin to bcmilligan.com and uses ENS on Ethereum in the background. Wow, that's incredible. I, I think um, everyone should have an ENS domain um, as, as you've kind of spoke about. Yes, here. it's your identity. It's your identity. Um, and who, I was also, who are you? Who are you? You're nobody if you don't have it. No, and, and it, it's been a big flex for the, the people who did have the .eth in their like Twitter handle or the, their you know, the Twitter name. Um, those were the big brains. And, um, you know, we got left behind the people like me who were, you know, not as hip to it. But it's okay. You're here now, which is good. We're, we're here now. I made sure to follow you on Twitter, just like everyone else should at Brantley.eth. Um, Brantley, thanks so much for hopping on today. Um, great talking with you. And again, everyone should have an ENS domain name. Everyone should follow Brantley on Twitter because there's just a bunch of great news there. Great insight. And uh, love, love talking with you today. Great, thanks. Thanks so much. I just got to say my outro, and that's gang, gang. <laughs>